Hello and welcome back to This Week in New Genre Books. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. My name is Amelia and from Locus Magazine I'm going to tell you about the top new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books being published the week of October 11th, 2022. I've got links for the timing below if you want to skip to your favorite category, be it science fiction, fantasy, or horror. Starting with science fiction books this week, we have five science fiction titles. From Mary Robinette Kowal, we saw The Spare Man out from Tor in hardcover, trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is an SF mystery novel of murder on an interplanetary liner between Earth and Mars. From Adrian Martini's review in Locus, The Spare Man is a perfect latter stages of a pandemic read. The logline is simple. The Thin Man's Nick and Nora Charles take a cruise between Earth and Mars. Mystery ensues. There is a murder. There are narrow escapes, there is a magician, and thugs, and poison. Despite several close calls, you know that Tesla and Shaw will figure out who did what to whom. From Taryn Hunt, we saw The Immortality Thief, out from Solaris UK in hardcover ebook and audio. This SF novel is the first in the Chrystrum Chronicles series. In lieu of a prison sentence, criminal linguist Sean Wren races to salvage data from an ancient, abandoned spaceship before it's destroyed, possibly unlocking the secrets of immortality. I mean, we all think we want immortality, nobody wants to die, but do we really want to live forever? From editor Lisa Yazik, we saw The Future is Female, Volume 2, The 1970s, more classic science fiction stories by women, out from Library of America in hardcover and ebook. This is an anthology of classic SF stories by women, all originally published in the 1970s, many of them award-winning. Authors include C.J. Cherry, Ursula K. Le Guin, Vonda N. McIntyre, Marta Randall, Joanna Russ, James Tiptree Jr., whose government name was Alice Sheldon. For anybody who didn't know that, she got the name Tiptree off a jam jar. Joan D. Vinge, Kate Wilhelm, and Connie Willis includes notes and biographies of the authors. From Ever Dundas, we saw SF novel Hell Sands out from Angry Robot UK in trade paperback and ebook. The UK government maintains control with an official typeface that causes bliss in most people, but the few who are allergic to it are persecuted. I mean, don't you have strong feelings about typefaces? I know it's like the ninth level of geekery, but it's part of the whole book experience. The smell of the binding and the paper, the font choices. Some fonts just do something for me. And from New York Times bestselling co-authors Sharon Moalem and Daniel Krauss, we saw Wrath out from Union Square & Co. in hardcover, ebook, and audio. In this near future SF thriller novel, Sammy is a lab rat instilled with human genes whose supersized intelligence engineers his escape into the world outside the lab where he can sire a rodent army to take over the world. Next up, we'll cover horror. I have six horror titles to tell you about this week. From Andy Davidson, we saw The Hollow Kind, out from MCD in hardcover, ebook, and audio. Look, just be glad I am not reading you the 13-digit ISBN numbers for every book. I have them. I could totally do that to you, and I don't, because I'm nice. Anyway, The Hollow Kind is a gothic horror novel about a family haunted by an ancient evil. Nellie inherits an old farmhouse in a pine forest, and there's something wrong only her 11-year-old son can see. From Ronald Malfi, we saw Ghost Written out from Titan Books UK in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a collection of four standalone horror novellas, each about the written word, including a cursed novel, an unusual pop-up book, and a choose-your-own-adventure story. From Fiona Barnett, we saw The Dark Between the Trees, out from Solaris UK in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a horror novel. In 1643, 17 soldiers retreated into the haunted Moresby Wood. Only two emerged, telling strange stories. In the present day, a group of researchers returned to Moresby Wood to find out what happened. From Nicole Cushing, we saw Moth Woman out from Word, Horde, and Trade Paperback and Ebook. This is a satirical horror novel dealing with current world and US events, plus aliens and the Mothman legend. From Liana Renee Heber, we saw Ghosts of the Forbidden out from Castlebridge Media in Trade Paperback and Ebook. This is a gothic supernatural romance novel, the first in the Glazier's Gap series. Unemployed writer Lillian Anders goes to a writer's conference in Glazier's Gap, Colorado, and encounters a 19th century ghost who is sure she's the reincarnation of his betrothed. I mean, what if she is? And if so, is the chemistry still there? From Joe Kaplan, we saw When the Night Bells Ring, out from CamCat Books in hardcover, trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is an apocalyptic horror novel set in a world ravaged by climate change. Two women looking for water in an old mine find a diary telling of the discovery of horrors in the mine. And they're still there. 
Finally, we'll tackle fantasy. I have 11 new fantasy titles I'm going to tell you about that are coming out this week. From comic superstar Alan Moore, we saw Illuminations out from Bloomsbury in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This first ever short story collection, which spans 40 years of work as one of the most influential writers in the comics world, collects nine wild and unforgettable stories, including a short novel, what we can know about Thunderman, about the surreal slash Kafkaesque history of the comics industry. From S.A. Chakraborty, we saw The River of Silver out from Harper Voyager U.S. in hardcover ebook and audio. This collects 15 stories based in the Devabad trilogy, giving background perspectives from a number of different characters and including an author's note and an alternative epilogue to The Empire of Gold. From James J. Butcher, we saw Dead Man's Hand out from Ace in hardcover ebook and audio. This is an urban fantasy novel, the first book in the Unorthodox Chronicles series, following a witch named Grimshaw Grimswald Grimsby, a mediocre witch on the run and trying to solve the murder of his mentor. The idea of a mediocre witch reminds me of that old joke, what do you call the guy who graduates last out of medical school? Doctor. Anyway, from Terry Brooks, we saw Daughter of Darkness out from Del Rey. In hardcover ebook and audio, this fantasy novel is the second in the Viridian Deep series about Oris Afton Grieg, who stumbles into the world of the Fae. From Dana Fredsty, we saw Hollywood Monsters out from Titan Books UK in trade paperback and ebook. This is an urban fantasy novel, third in the Lilith series. Lee Striga, an actress, stuntwoman, and demon hunter, returns to Los Angeles to find all kinds of animals sheltering on her ranch and people vanishing without a trace. From Jason Denzel, we saw Mystic Skies out from Tor in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy novel, third in the Mystic trilogy. Mystics are blamed for the tragic outcome of a magical disaster. Mist is declared illegal and the mystics are imprisoned. From A.G. Pasquella, we saw Welcome to the Weird America out from Buckrider Books in trade paperback. This is a collection of three fabulous novellas mixing the surreal with twisted tropes. From Matt Cahill, we saw Radioland, also from Buckrider Books, in trade paperback. This is an urban fantasy novel. In Toronto, a serial killer is prowling bars and nightclubs, bringing a troubled musician and an outcast magic user together as they learn about the danger that stalks them both. From Paul Filippo, we saw Visionary Pageant out from New Con Press UK. In ebook, this is a steampunk novella. Journalist Sophronia Tempest investigates a secret sect but winds up swept into another world where she and her companions are caught up in far-reaching events beyond their imagining. From Anne Liang, we saw If You Could See the Sun out from Inkyard Press in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult contemporary fantasy novel. A scholarship student at an elite Beijing boarding school starts turning invisible. She doesn't mean to, these things happen. When her family runs out of money, she uses the power to spy on her rich classmates and blackmail them. From Sharon Hink, we saw Dream of Kings out from Enclave in hardcover ebook and audio. This is second in the Children of the Consortium series. Jolan the Dream Teller wants to use her gift to help all comers, but after an old man's nightmare turns out to be a dire warning for her nation, she winds up entangled in political intrigue and some other really bad stuff happens from there. That wraps up this week. At Locus, we want to tell you everything relevant that's happening in the science fiction fantasy horror publishing space. We appreciate your eyes and ears and your likes and subscribes. We are at Locus Mag or at Locus Magazine on most platforms. Go check us out, www.locusmag.com. You can subscribe to the print magazine. Locus is available in a digital edition. Patreon donations start as low as a couple of dollars per month and every bit helps. If you like what we do, please consider joining as a patron. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon. I will be here next week with more new books. I did so good, I even put a verb in on the fly. You didn't even know it. I don't know how, I don't know how anybody just does this live.